So today I want to talk to you about the different poundages, what you're looking for, how you want it to feel when you're shooting. In my classes, you don't have to ever stay on these numbers, but this is what I found over the years. So ladies, women, I have found um, on the lighter side, if they're looking for a light bow to shoot, they'll stay like around the 10, 12 pound range. So I have bows that are, um, they're about 62, 66 inches. This one's 62 right here, okay? And um, 66 is probably right around here. Um, and they will pick out the 10 to 12 pound bows if they are looking for something light, like they feel like they don't have a lot of strength, all right? Um, middle of the road, you're gonna be right around 15, 16 pounds when you're first starting out. And then for the heavier bows, um, I sometimes I have women who feel like they're pretty strong, they have a lot of strength, and they'll go for the 18 to 20 pound bows. In my beginner classes, I don't have a ton of women that will go over 20 pounds. I have had a few that can, have asked me like, can I have a 22, 24, 25 pound bow? Um, but for the most part, 18 to 20 is like their highest when they're first, first starting on archery. All right, and then for the guys, I typically have found over the years that the guys will start for the lighter side. If they want something on the lighter side, they'll start with like the 18 pound bows. And then a lot of guys will just start at the 20 because that just seems kind of like middle of the road. And then the 20, you know, 22, 24, 26, I have up to 30. Um, they'll pick up to there. So I'll hand them a 20 and I'll say, you know, pull it back, see how it feels. And uh, if you wanna change it out, you can. And sometimes guys will come back and I'm like, yeah, can I try the 25 or can I try the 24? If you can handle heavier, go for it because the arrows are gonna be a little more forgiving when they come out of the bow. So if you make a little mistake back here, a little more forgiving at my targets, like I start my classes off at 10 to 12 yards. Um, but if you can't handle it, then you wanna go a little bit lighter because you don't wanna compromise your form. So here's what you're looking for. If you pull the bow back, okay? So if you get a bow in your hands, so say that you said, hey, I would like to try the 15 pound bow out. And you pull back and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. I can hold this for like 20 seconds. That's gonna be too light for you, okay? If you get the bow in your hand, okay? And you pull back. Oh, and you start shaking. Oh, you're barely holding it. You gotta let down. It's probably too heavy. You don't wanna be shaking. You don't wanna barely just get it back and it feels too much. That's probably too much for your first time. But if you can pull it back, hold it for about good three to five seconds. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five. Without shaking or moving, it's gonna feel a little tight. Okay, so you want it to feel a little bit tight because that's gonna give you control in your shot. If it's like flimsy, you're gonna lose control. So you want it to feel a little tight, but if you can control that for three to five seconds, that's what you're looking for in your bow weight when you go to your first archery class, okay? Um, so that's the best advice I can give you. Adults, you're probably gonna get either a 62 or 66 inch bow. If you're a tall guy um, and they have options, maybe go up for the 66 inch bow. Ladies, most of the time, the 62 inch bow will be totally fine for you. Um, for the youth that come to your class, youth, you, I, a lot of times I just hand a bow, like how does this feel? And they'll tell me their thoughts and I'll change up the sizes. Um, but the youth, if you're nine, 10 years old, a lot of times I'll hand you a 48 inch bow. If you're 11 to 12, 13, depending on your height, um, you're gonna get a 54 inch bow. Right around 12, 13, again, depending on your height, you're gonna move into that 62 inch bow. Um, that's just what I found over the years. I teach all my classes at nine years and up, nine years to adult. Um, so those are the bow sizes that I have. And for the kids, I have 10 pound bows up to 20 in the 48, 54 inch range. Um, this might be a little bit advanced, some of the numbers I'm throwing out. Um, but kids, it's like really big personal preference I've noticed and adults, what I've told you before, as far as the you know, 10 to 12, the 15 to 18, and then the guys 18, 20 is really popular, and the 20 plus. Um, I've just noticed that over the years, because I teach a lot of adults archery. Um, summer camps for kids, I do that all summer long, and kids are just like kind of all over the board as far as if they want a lighter or heavier bow. So it's a little harder to gauge for them what, what I'm gonna hand them until I see them actually pull it back. So I hope that really helps you out when you go to your first day of class, because I know it's a little overwhelming. Like, I don't know if I can handle that. I don't know if 
how's it supposed to feel? So I've gone over, you know, what I've noticed in the past as far as the, the range and then how you want it to feel. We went over that too. Can you pull back and you hold it forever? Are you shaking too much? So take all that into consideration when you go to your first class or when you're picking out a bow to buy um, and that'll give you a good gauge. The cool part about these, um, like a bow like this, this is the Samex Age. Um, a cool part about this bow is you get a riser that you like, like a pretty color or, or however you like it. The limbs, it's actually a takedown bow, okay? So the limbs actually screw apart and you can always change the limbs out. The limbs are gonna determine the poundage of your bow, like how much pounds you're holding. So for a recurve, if it says it's a 20 pound bow, it's not that you're holding 20 pounds. It's that you're drawing back, it's your draw weight. You're drawing and holding 20 pounds, okay? So if you go to the archery range and they give you a 20 pound bow, and then after a month, you're like, oh, this is kind of easy. I need something a little more strength. You can actually just take these limbs off and you can just purchase new limbs. So you don't have to purchase a whole new bow. You're just purchasing new limbs, which would be half the price. That's kind of cool about these bows is that you can keep the riser, you can keep the string, you can keep everything else. You just have to switch the limbs out. And then if you take really good care of your limbs, that's what I always tell my students. Take really good care of your equipment, get a bow case, get all that stuff. Because if you're at a local arch range, it's so easy just to sell it to a, a new, another new archer that's looking for some equipment. I hope that helps you out with deciding what weight bow that you're gonna pick out on your first day of archery.